Hello everybody, it's Farm Sim Guy here. Hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to Bull's Gap and the Survival Series. If you remember at the end of the last episode, we had just picked up our bales. We're having a few issues with our course play course, picking up the bales, but we did buy this new super duper trailer, which we did colour up in Maddie Fi's brand colours. Always nice to support the modders where we can. So um we yes, uh kind of thought the volumes we were dealing with we needed a better trailer than our little green one which we'll still keep because that's going to be handy around the yard but uh, for these long hauls with these uh, bigger volumes of bales it made sense to absolutely get a bigger trailer now we're going to drop these off ideally we want these uh, into the BGA and done before uh, midnight so we can capitalise on the cash from them um, and then Really, it's a case of we'll uh, call it there for the night, we'll go to sleep and we'll get up in the morning and see what's what. We do need to put a few silage bales over there at the TMR mixer, as you can see. We've got just one left, so we can't put them all in here, um, but we'll do what we can. Um, and then we've got a few decisions to make, if you can remember as well, that we'd started to uh, clear the area for the new shed. So we'll build that in the morning as well, and we'll have a bit of a tidy up around the farm. There's machinery all over the farm. Um, it's a bit of a mess, so it'll be nice to get things sorted. So, um, yeah, time to uh, get things organised. Then, I wonder if we try something new. Uh, I was thinking of maybe putting some pigs uh, in somewhere and uh, seeing what we can do uh, with a few more animals. Uh, but for now, let's get these unloaded and uh, see what sort of money we can make from these. I did also check uh, our tomatoes and our fertilizer points uh, up at the other side of the map are doing very well as well. They'll be probably ready for a little bit of uh, attention in the morning. And we've also got a little bit of whiskey to sell from the last batch that we did. So um, yeah, all things go, all things go. It has been a long time since I've used these trailers. Um, let me just reverse back a little bit. I can see a lot of these falling out as I, uh, let me just see if I can get this accurate could have done with being a bit closer I'm going to hit the Y button okay okay that's not as bad as I thought it was going to be um, hopefully as time goes on they will get absorbed into the BGA as you can see the 80 there is flickering because uh, it's absorbing it quicker or not as quickly as the uh, volume of uh, bales there I'm glad they all stayed there though Hopefully they don't topple out as a few more get digested. But um, we'll run back and we'll get the second load. It's almost the second load. I don't think there's another full 24. Now we will keep a few of those bales back. I do know the TMR uh, is very full at the moment. We've topped it right up. But um, you know it's always nice to have a little bit of a backlog. Just in case. Um, the cows are eating quite a lot. Um, there's also milk to sell as well. I forgot about that. We've got... Lots and lots of stuff now that is making us money, just ticking over all the time. So uh, I'm really keen to uh, capitalise on that in the next few days. Like I said, um, the, always the goal of this series was to hit uh, a million dollars. And uh, it looks like we're going to achieve that. And it also, by pure chance, looks like we may achieve it relatively quickly and relatively close to the launch of FS22. So... I think a nice fitting end to uh, the series, really, and a nice fitting end to uh, FS19. So here we are. Let's uh, let's round up these bales. I'm sure you don't want me to see, uh, to see it uh, real time, so uh, we'll put it on a little time lapse, and we'll be back shortly. Okay, so here we are. Um, we have just collected off that field 46 bales, 20,000 litres a bale. That gives us basically just shy of a million litres of silage. 920,000 litres of bales. So, um, like I said, that's a pretty decent payday, putting that in the BJ. I was thinking about it while I was gathering those bales. Do we need to keep any of these out? Or could we just be bold and sell a lot? Looking how fast the grass is growing. If we do need more silage, 
we can get it pretty quickly. That grass will be ready in the next day or so again for another cut, so we could be quite bold and throw all of this in the BGA now and see what's what. Um, what I'll do now is just go and check the TMR mixer. Look at the amount of bales there. That is a proper harvest. Um, yeah, let's do and check the TMR. Let's see what we've got in here because this will make uh, my decision. Uh, so we have got... So we've got 228,000 litres of silage in there already. Uh, 128 of wheat, straw and hay as well. And if you look at the shed, we are not short of supplies of both of those. So I think... I think we'll, we'll obviously leave that one just as a as a safety safety net, but I think all of this goes in the BGA, right? Let's chuck it all in. Okay, so there's no point in us uh, loading this up yet, so we'll just park it here, and we'll let that other batch absorb itself in. As you can see, it's going down all the time, so the money is going in. Let's just hope it all gets cleared before midnight. I mean, even if it doesn't, right? It's not the end of the world. We've got... Uh, we could spread it over a couple of days. Um, that trailer there, we may use for the fertiliser. We have got the little international now, which is quite a nice option. Um, and now up here, this is where we cut out our space for our new shed. We need to do a bit of landscaping here. Just to make sure that it's, uh, it's going to fit. But that's fine. In fact, we'll jump in and do that. Now, I was going to wait till tomorrow morning and do that, but as we're waiting for the BGA to uh, clear, we might as well we might as well do it now. So, um, let's do a bit of sculpting. This will cost us a bit of money, um, but that's okay. I'm okay at this side. It's actually the other part that makes me nervous, down by the road here, where we've got our, our little white shed there because we do have a path down there which I don't want to don't want to encroach on too much. And as you get to this point, things are relatively smooth. That was our start point for smoothing things out last time. So um it should be pretty good there. Um that's a nice big open space we've created there. Like I said, our little entrance can be here. What I'll do is just smooth this off so that there's no uh no kind of lumps or bumps that will cause us any issues. And then we come down to here. It is a little bit of a... Uh, a little bit of a cliff edge there. We'll smooth that off as well to cause... Avoid any issues. Um, what's that? Kind of built out a little bit too far there. I wonder if I... Am I bold enough to do that? Is that going to cause me grief? There we go. Maybe not the most attractive, but it works. We've got a little bit of undulation in the ground there. Need to move that log at some point as well. Um, what I'll maybe do here, just to avoid any confusion, is just run a little little grass patch here, just to show that there is a bit of a border there between this bit of land and the flat edge up there. Gives it a bit of character as well, right? We're all for character here. There we go. So any of the rough edges. That'll also help us when we're placing our building that we know where the uh, where the loose edges are. So there we go. So it just shows we've got a path. We have got a track down here which is ours. Looks quite nice. Happy with that. Okay. Should we place our shed now? Now, on the live stream on Wednesday, people voted for... That actually looks really nice. Very pleased with that. People voted for... The big AJ Tech warehouse from... Uh, from No Man's Land. So now, what I've, I was going to place it straight on the other day. Like so. But actually, now, with the way this has shaped itself, I think, I think we could um, pop it here. 
The back is hanging off slightly, but it'll re-sculpt the ground to do that, I think. Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. We've got a little space there to squeeze tractors through. Check this out. That is a proper shed. Just got to work out how to get out of it, right? There we go. Press the buttons. Look at that. That has been placed really nicely. No issues there at all. That is fantastic. Yep. Our landscaping worked nicely there. Fantastic. That's huge. Really nice shed as well. And like I said, nice nice enough gap here that we can come out with the feed trailer and loop around and get back into the farm. Actually makes it easier than it was before because we had to squeeze past things here. Um, awesome stuff. Awesome, awesome. Okay. That is a rather big change to the farm, that, isn't it? I like that. I like that a lot. Right back at the PGA, as you can see there, those bales are ticking quite nicely. Um, obviously, the money we spent on our shed there has brought the cash down to 316,000. Um, but as it's 7 p.m. now, I don't think there's much more we're going to do tonight. So what I'll do is skip forward the time slightly, just so we can watch those bales get absorbed into the BGA. In fact, I'm going to stop it there because um, they need a little nudge with a with a uh, loader or something to drop down. Sometimes the trigger doesn't quite work, so if I move him out of the way slightly, we'll run and get the... Uh, oh, I'm in the wrong way. Can't see anything. I need some floodlights here, don't I? Look at this. Pitch black. Need to invest in some uh, floodlights for the farm as well. Um, let's grab this guy. Just give him a little tap with the uh, with the front of the loader. They'll drop into the BGA. Now it's very possible now, having done that and sped forward the time without them moving, that we might not get them all in before midnight. Let's see. See? There we see what happens there. Sometimes it just needs a little coaxing into place. So, um, let's park this again. Leave them running, because actually we need the lights. Up, over, down. Makes one reverse slightly. Happy with that. Boom. Oh, look, a few have fallen out that time. Couldn't have been that lucky. A lot of falling out, okay. Well. We'll get those out of the way. Maybe we keep those two. Or maybe we just go and get the loader to pick them up in a sec. Um, okay, let's park that there. What we'll do, we've got a little bit of work to do with the loader now. In the dark. To pick these up. It shouldn't take too long. Okay, there we go. Everything in, hopefully in a place where it'll be absorbed without any coaxing. But we'll just be on standby to do that. Three to go. Is it just going to be that one that needs a little bit of a helping hand? I needn't have been worried about anything. Look, it's only uh, quarter to eleven in the evening. And uh, we're down to the last bale. Which I can't reach. So, uh, I had not needed to have worried everything in. There we go. So, moment of truth. Turn the lights out. We will stand here, watch those last few bits being absorbed. There we go. Everything has been processed by the BGA. Let's see what happens at midnight, shall we? So here we go. 
23.53. I'll just speed the time up to 30 times. 54, 55. We've just seen our uh, costs come off there for the horses at uh, 11 o'clock. So uh, everything else now will be a bit of upkeep for the farm. $368,000 from the biogas. And just 2,300 in property maintenance. That is huge. 680,000 we've got in the bank now. That's absolutely colossal. I honestly never thought we'd get to that point. That's brilliant. Okay, gotta love that. Um, I guess I'll see you in the morning. I'm knackered. Good morning, everybody. Uh, there was the scene of our biggest payday last night. And I left the lights on on the John Deere. Hopefully it'll start. It does indeed. Let's get it out of here. I will actually just pop this trailer in this shed. It's kind of a handy place to have it. Um, we've got so much digestate in here uh, that we'll need to run it up to the fertiliser point at some point using our big tanker. But for now, uh, we've got other things to worry about. Let's head over and have a look at our new shed. There it is, looking resplendent and massive actually. It is huge, isn't it? So one of the things I'd like to do today is really tidy up the farm, get all the stuff in the shed that we can, get things looking good. But first things first, we're gonna check on the animals, see how they're doing. And there we go, cows are looking good actually. Um, they definitely need some more straw and they definitely need some more TMR. So we'll, we'll crack on, we'll get a few little bits and bobs done with them make sure they're suitably well looked after and we will um, take things from there I think with the money we've got now we probably should treat ourselves to maybe just a little uh, little machine just to use for the uh, cleaning of the animals a little skid steer or something like that so we'll sort something like that out so it's driving this one over the map every time we need to do it um, but yeah let's get them fed and uh, let's get some straw down for them and then we'll take things from there. Okay, that is cows fed and bedded down. Some uh, some fun times with the uh, FS physics there with the bales, but we got it done. We got it done now. The other thing we wanted to do was clean them out. So I'm going to go shopping again. We are going to jump in and get ourselves quite a nice little skid steer if we can find one. We've only got base game ones in. That's a little bit disappointing. What have we got um, in the telehandler stakes? Again, only base game. So wheel loaders, and look what we've got. I've meant to buy this for a long time. I think we have to get this, don't we? We have to get this. Let's treat ourselves to a few tweaks to it. Mm. That looks pretty slick, doesn't it? That looks pretty slick. 
What are our wheel options? Oh, definitely those. Setup. Chunky boys, yes, we've got to go for that. A few guard configurations, don't really need those, do we? We're not logging here. Beacons, big warning triangle, extra work light. We'll absolutely have one of those. There you go. 9,570. Why would you not? Why would you not, right? And let's buy another bucket. There we go. What literage is that? That's only a thousand, though. I wonder if we need a bigger bucket. Five thousand. I think it'll fit. Five thousand might be overkill, actually. Let's be sensible here. Nice CSZ. There you go. CSZ, four thousand. That'll do. Nicely done. Right. There they are. I love the sound of this as well. If it's as good as it used to be. Fantastic. There we go. Cleaning up inside here. I mean, there isn't even a thousand litres on the ground, but... It doesn't matter, right? We've got new toys. That's what counts. So the cows are clean as well. It's being fed and watered. There we go. CSZ pack comes to the rescue yet again. Right. There we go. Okay, next things we need to think about are heading up, selling our whiskey, selling our uh, fertilizer. So what we'll do, we'll send the little international over here, pick up this rather large pile of uh, manure that's uh, grown. Also check on our milk, just as we're here. 26,000 litres. I'll let that run a little bit more. I know we can take 45 in our tanker, so we might as well wait until we've got a tanker load. Um, so yeah, let's get this shipped up to the other side of the map. So we'll just get the international over, get that manure... Like I said, we could have put it into the uh, fertiliser production plant, but I think there's a good amount in there at the moment. And I think price-wise, you can get good money for manure if you sell it to the BGA as well. So let's just have a quick look, shall we? Yep, we get the same price at the moment for manure as we would if we were selling... Uh, silage, so 400 and 400. So from that perspective, it makes total sense uh, to fill this right up. What we need to do is jump into here and just turn it on again. Oh, he got tipped up by the pile, I think, there. Hope that doesn't cause us any issues when we pull away. It shouldn't do. He's filling up now. We'll let that run. We'll be back shortly. There we go, creeping up to 95% there. We've got a good load in here. There's actually more than I thought in here. So this is this is actually going to be a, a good little uh, amount to sell, to be honest. Um, a, a worthwhile exercise indeed. You know, if we can keep topping the BG up with this as well, that's, that's awesome. Um, so we'll run down here. Get this in. I mean... Really now it's a case of making sure that we sell the stuff when it's ready. Um, I think our egg pallet's probably full now after we've uh, gone through another full night, so uh, I should really make sure that that is... Uh, there we go. Tip there. Uh, I should really make sure that that's ready as well, because uh, we should go and sell those. Let's go and see the fertiliser and the whiskey and the... Tomatoes. Okay, here we go. Let's see what's what here. Um, we have appropriate amounts in here. Things are looking good. Um, probably do with a bit more seed in there at some point. But uh, we can pick some of that up on the way back from uh, selling fertilizer. Now, fertilizer. 
see how much has been produced here. 56,000 litres. Okay, so there's a full truckload there. And over here, we've got, I know we've got three and a bit cases of whiskey. 38%. Nearly four cases sitting, waiting to be loaded up. So we shall sell those as well. In fact, there's the truck. We might as well do that first. And then we'll come back and sort out uh, the fertiliser. Okay, here we go. Let's just, like I said, park here. We'll check the price. 1,500 on going up. So, okay. That's an easy decision to make. I'm just going to dump it here. There we go, it was the wrong way around. But now we'll just drop those there. And just keep an eye on that price and sell them when the price is right. We'll just collect the rest of them here. There we go. One short of a full load. We'll run these over here, quickly unload them. And that's another bit of money in the bank. And then it is the fertiliser, which is the big payday. Reposition the truck so it's in a decent place. And there you go. They will sell pretty much straight away. I'm watching that tick up. Watch the top layer drop as the bottom layer finishes. There we go. That's looking pretty lucrative to me, that. Bosh. 12,000 in tomatoes. Good money if you can get it, right? Right, that's that done. Now, like I said, I think this is the big payday. The distillery sitting, waiting at the moment for more uh, inputs in barley and uh, maize. So as soon as we've got those, they'll be getting thrown in there. Uh, whiskey is incredibly lucrative. We're going to keep doing that. But now we're going to get a full load of dry fertiliser here. 40,000 litres. Um, which leaves another 16,000 in here, which we'll leave for now. We don't need that. But this, uh, this should be quite a nice little payday. So we'll get this filled up over to the cell point and then we'll pick up some seed on the way back for the greenhouse. Um, so we're uh, being efficient. Okay, there we go. Actually, forgot it was a 45,000 litre truck, not 40,000 litre truck, but uh, let's get this down to the cell point. Oh, it's really sluggish under power with this amount of weight in it. Uh, but we'll see you over there. Okay, so here we are. I've just been thinking, actually, um, in terms of money and what we're making here, I, I commit to you now, I think it would be a cop-out to do another massive silage just for the money, okay? We made $380,000 just with that last uh, silage harvest. So I think if we're going to get to a million, we're not going to do it the easy way, right? We've got enough other productions going on. We've got crops in the ground. So we will not sell any more silage. It's too easy. It's too easy. So uh, anything from now on will be uh, from fertilizer, from tomatoes, from whiskey, from crops we've got in the ground, from selling our animals or selling the, the, selling the uh, milk from them. Uh, let's uh, let's just not rush to a million because we found an easy route to do it. Now, say, that said, I am interested to see how long... This takes a long time to produce, however. But I am interested to see how much money it's going to make us. Um, I think it will be a, a good payday. Um, and like I said, after we finish here, we'll just top this up with a bit of seed to put back into the tomato uh, greenhouse as well. So that keeps topped up. But uh, there we go. The money is seriously rolling in now, isn't it? 41,000. I will take that. So we're looking at roughly a thousand, just less than a thousand dollars per thousand litres there. Um, we've had better than that, I think. The problem with that is you can't see the prices on the, um, on the price list for some reason, but, uh, so it's always a bit of a lottery how much you'll get, but, uh, I am happy with that, for sure. Right, let's get a few more seeds to make sure that the greenhouse is topped up. And uh, we'll be looking good. 
Right, here we are. We picked up 14,000 litres. I think there was about six in the seed box, so I think it takes 20,000. So my uh, basic maths will just hopefully have worked out here. If not, there's certainly an addition. We'll keep things going for a little bit longer. So there we go. And as you can see, the plants grow instantly. Look at that. Fantastic. Nicely done. Okay. Well, on that note, I know there's not been a lot of farming in this episode, but we have made some serious money and uh, things are things are running nicely. So uh, that's topped up with seeds now. Manure's good. Could pop a little bit more water in here. But yes, we are looking good. All of our productions are uh, running really, really nicely. And uh, we are making money hand over fist. So it's a case of wait for the crops to grow now. And we'll be straight back into another harvest in the not too distant future. So thank you very, very much for watching. Um, it doesn't really feel like a survival series anymore, does it? We've uh, We've come a long way since we had a chainsaw and a dream. So from me, for now, the Farm Sim Guide, thank you very, very much for watching, and I will see you all again very soon. Bye for now.